Today I'm going to talk about this disorder called achondroplasia, which is a form of a short limb dwarfism. A mutation in the chromosome number 4, specifically in a gene called fibroblast growth factor receptor 3, also known as FGFR3, causes this disease. This gene gives instructions to make proteins that contribute in development and maintenance of bone and brain tissue. When mutation occurs, an amino acid called glycine is replaced with an amino acid arginine at position 380. This causes the protein to be overly active and it leads to problems in skeletal development and bone growth. This disorder is autosomal dominant. It means that there is a mutated gene on one of the non-sex chromosomes. Also, because it is dominant, only one copy of mutation is needed to be expressed or cause the disorder. If you look at this picture, children who only have a one parent affected by a chondroplasia have 50% chance of being affected too. On the other hand, if the parents are both affected by achondroplasia, there is 75% chance of being affected, and one of them usually won't survive pregnancy. People with achondroplasia usually have hands that are abnormal in appearance. As you can see, their hands are broad, flat, with large space between each finger. Bowed legs and spinal stenosis are also common symptoms of this disorder. They have decreased muscle tone and short stature. Their heads are disproportionate to their bodies, mostly larger. A prominent forehead and shortened arms and legs are very typical among achondroplastic dwarves. Most diagnosis is done before the child is ever born. An ultrasound test is performed to show if an extensive amount of fluid is surrounding the infant. This usually means that the body parts are being compressed. When an infant is born with a head that is abnormally large, it can mean that there is a fluid buildup in the brain, a sign of achondroplasia. Also, an x-ray can show long bones revealing its condition. Achondroplasia dwarfism is the most common type of dwarfism. It occurs in ratio of 1 to every 50,000 to 40,000 newborns. There is no specific treatment for this disease. You can either inherit from your parents or have a mutation in the gene. However, canes and braces often help people with severe bowed legs and other problems. If a newborn inherits the gene from both parents, then the baby has a severe form of the disorder. Therefore, the baby usually only has about less than 12 months to live. But ones who got it from a single parent can expect to live a normal lifespan. Usually, infants who live past the first year of life will end up living a normal life with normal intelligence. People with this disease have rarely reached 5 feet in height. Also, about 80% of kids that suffer from this disease have normal sized parents. And like I have said before, there is no specific way of treating this disease. Humans with this disorder have limited mobility in the elbow. Some unique body parts are clubbed feet and fluid buildup in the brain. Fathers who are older than average are more likely to have children with achondroplasia.